Okay, so I just want to do some fancy intro, but uh, in the case of uh, accidents, I just uh, avoided it. So this is my uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro and we have the fresh uh, AS14 builds for uh, this device. So in this video, I will be installing it on this device and probably I may uh, test it uh, for other devices like we have uh, uh, MIA2 also have uh, received the A14 port ROM and uh, we have some uh, expectations of the uh, realme pad and i don't know about uh, my unlucky champ of note 11 so this is the thing uh, that we are going to do in this video so let's just jump to the pc so we are in the computer now so i have a uh, redmi note 10 pro here uh, the one thing that i have to tell is we have two rooms uh, one is uh, lineage android 14 and the another one is uh, this project blaze so here i have downloaded both of this but instead of trying lineage i'm going to try a uh, project blaze uh, due to some features like uh, pixel a wallpaper you have you can um, customize it based on your uh, color preference and other things and a few other things like google photo unlimited and other stuffs so uh, this one i have uh, uh, downloaded it and i have it with me in here and the requirement uh, clearly shows that we need uh, orange fox recovery 11.1 uh, underscore 3 or twrp that would be fine so here i have the orange fox recovery so both i have to uh, install it in my redmi note 10 pro and uh, here i can find the screenshot i will share the link of this one in the description of the video so that you can uh, check it out so first thing that i have to do is it is simple uh, we have seen it multiple times here i am again uh, going through so i will be opening this uh, adb platform tool so you have to it's a zip file you have to unzip it so once you unzip it you can uh, open the cmd in here and then you have to connect the device in the fast port mode so uh, before that i have to tell my devices in brick condition so i will be uh, connecting this uh, before that i will be using a combination of volume down and power which will enable the passport mode so i will be holding it okay so it is in fast boot now i will connect okay so now i can here uh, search fast boot uh, devices so my device is now uh, Director. So if you have any doubts on this, we have made a, a dedicated playlist which you can go through one by one and you will get an idea what the uh, hell I am doing here. So now I will go to this folder where I have my uh, OS. So first I have to boot the Orange Fox recovery for that. I will extract this file and uh, yeah, I have extracted it. And now if I have to open it, I can double click here. So inside here I have the recovery.image file which I have to uh, install it through fastboot. So uh, fastboot um, boot and then I have to drag and drop this uh, recovery file right. So now uh, that uh, recovery will be booting in my device. So before uh, doing any of this make sure you have uh, backed up all your things and also make sure you have unlocked your uh, Phone. so now i will go and uh, i will have to make sure my device is uh, in side load so before that i will wipe the uh, data whichever i don't want so this will also erase the okay so this will also erase the uh, file so in the internal so yeah before that i have to format the data which is important <coughs> okay so now i can uh, do this thing. okay so somehow it got formatted now i have to use the adb side load so yeah both i have to do so now i'm doing uh, adb side load so here if you type adb devices in the computer you can see that um, wait a second it is uh, successfully collected in uh, side mo uh, side load mode so i can type adb side load and then i can drag and drop this uh, orange fox recovery zip file so simply like this okay and 
now uh, this orange fox uh, recovery will be installing earlier we just have uh, booted it but now uh, it will be installing it so yeah right here it is telling adb failed to read but that is fine we have uh, successfully installed the orange fox on our device so and also it is a uh, detector here now the only thing that we have to do is installing the custom room which is android 14 uh, project place for that i will be using again adb side load and after that we have to wipe the cache and uh, dolby and i will be dragging it so same method now the adb is uh, started and here if i type uh, adb side load adb devices it should show the side load and again adb side load and drag and drop this uh, project blaze file okay so clicking to install so here you can see now uh, it is started right so once it is installed we no need to do anything it will automatically wipe the cache and we can just reboot the device to the system and then we will uh, proceed with the what i would say proceed with the frp first uh, representative screen or something so now system vendor and then the product is getting installed so Okay, so now it is installed and wiping cache and all week also done. So I'm just simply going to click the system. This one. Okay. We even can uh, remove it. So that, is, that won't be an issue. So it looks uh, much minimal and uh, looks good. In my opinion so let us just wait for some time that's great so now we have uh, successfully installed the android 14 so yeah now let's just get a uh, starter connect to my wi-fi also i have uh, uh, inserted my sim card which is great thing i can test a uh, few things so now I have signed into my uh, Google account uh, and uh, I will be, let me just uh, try the fingerprint. So this will take some time and uh, I don't want to try it, I already know. So um, yeah. Here we go, we are in the uh, home screen of the device. So first what I have to do, well, uh, all my apps are now getting installed. By the time it is getting installed, I will open this one and check the about phone and Android 14. Yeah, currently it is in Android 14. So here I can click. I don't think uh, we have any Easter eggs here. And I have to change the uh, system swipe gestures so i will go to systems and uh, gesture and, um, yeah this is uh, this is great and we have a uh, good amount of uh, customizations with this latest apps so sorry uh, latest android so here uh, some of one of the thing which is mentioned in there is this uh, more wallpaper and a wallpaper so if i click here you can see uh, your uh, own words can uh, based on your own words you can uh, um, make your own wallpaper which is great and here i can uh, the good thing is it even shows uh, the uh, different kind of options based on that you can uh, make uh, your choices which is great right something like this uh, yeah now uh, as it is installing a uh, lot of apps in the background it's uh, still it is uh, fine it is smooth and what camera app we have we have uh, no camera app 
if we would have had we can uh, we would have uh, we can test that but yeah uh, finally we have uh, installed this uh, android 14 on on our uh, redmi note 10 which is really really great so yeah i will be using this as my uh, primary device and uh, i will be letting you know everything about this not everything whatever i'm noticing good things bad things in the full review so stay tuned for that and subscribe to tech and cs for more awesome videos like this so yeah code matter